To start editing our video, we'll have to create a new project, and you can do so by clicking this big blue Create Project button seen here at the top. Let's go ahead and click on that now. And we've now created a new project. What you're looking at here is the primary interface of CapCut. Anytime you start a new project, you'll see this every single time. So let's go ahead and get familiar with everything that we're looking at here. Starting from the left-hand side of the screen, over here is where you'll import your footage. You can drag and drop your files here or click on this button to import your footage. You'll also notice some tabs here at the top. These are really important and we'll check them out later on in the video. The next panel is here in the middle and this is our player. When we're previewing our edited video, it will play right here. And the next panel that we have is the details panel. Here you can get more information about your video and photo files, like the name, file location, the aspect ratio, resolution, frame rate, and other important information. Then lastly, here towards the bottom of the screen, we have our timeline. And this is where pretty much all of the video editing is going to occur. This is where you'll trim your footage, add B-roll, clips, music, effects. Pretty much every single edit is going to take place right here. Since we're talking about layouts, one really quick tip for you, if you want to change how this layout looks or reset the layout if you move something on accident, go to the top right here and click this button. If I click on it, you'll see that it's currently set to the default layout but they do have some other options. They have a vertical style, one that prioritizes attributes and media. And then, like I said, you can reset the layout as well if you ever change something. 